Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to do a modified bloom coming up. Hi, my name is Susan King. I am a full-time artist and if this is your first visit to my channel, welcome and thanks for stopping by. In today's bloom I will be doing a modified or in today's video I'll be doing a modified bloom and I am going to be doing mostly in blues I think I'm gonna be adding um, one green but mostly blues let's get started hey welcome back these are the colors that I'm using um, I'm using mostly blues but I'm adding a couple of different ones in um, this one here is permanent blue violet phthalo green turquoise blue and Prussian blue and this one is burgundy Josania. I'm also adding rust-oleum metallic accents white pearl in what's in the mix I really like the uh, the final results from this here gives it a real um, metallic kind of shiny glossy not glossy um, I don't know. I'll show you the, when I show you the dried results, I'll show you what this does to it. Okay, so my cell activator is going to be white and gesso. So I'm going to be using Valor Rowney gesso, white gesso, Amsterdam acrylic white paint, titanium white, and uh, Floetrol, uh, North American Floetrol. Not Australian Floetrol. So this is what I'm using. And that's what I mix together for my cell activator today. So let's get uh, to work on this. Okay. So I've already got some, some of the paint down. Some of the pillow paint. Um, Add a little bit more to the, to the middle. Okay, so now sit down for a minute. Couple air bubbles. Okay, that's good enough. All right, I'm going to start with the violet. It's the blue violet, permanent blue violet by Amsterdam. Then I'm going to use burgundy by Amsterdam. Then, Fatal Green, also Amsterdam. And this one is Turquoise Blue Amsterdam. I'm gonna put this on top. Oh, I was supposed to put something else in there. I was supposed to put permanent, not permanent, um, Rust-Oleum white pearl metallic I'm going to put more violet on top then I'm going to put Prussian blue Using a white cell activator and it is gesso white paint Amsterdam white paint titanium and Floetrol North American Floetrol um, I had this this is left over from before so I don't know the actual mix right now um, but I will add it in the description adding the cell activator on top
Now I'm going to blow it out. it's looking okay I'm going to let that come back level with the rest of the paint just to show you what it looks like okay I'm going to start to modify it a little bit first of all I'm just going to add a little bit more paint to the outer edge while I'm waiting for the center to come back. Okay, I'm going to start to modify it. I still have to wait for the middle to come back a little bit. So I'm just going to modify the edges. I think it's starting to look like it, like it can move. I'm going to go through here. And then I'm going to spin. I'm not spinning any more than that. That was like true spins. I'm just going to torch any air bubbles out. Okay, so it looks like I've got something over here. Blob. A lot of blobs in my paintings lately. Oh, that's good. It's awfully light, lighter than I hoped it would be, but I still like it. I'm gonna do some more modifying before my camera shuts off. dark. Okay, so I'm going to go that. That 
looks pretty neat. Okay. Got rid of that air bubble. And um That one too. <laughs> No, I don't really get to do any more, I don't think. Just something else inside here. Need to break that up a little bit, give it some interest. Okay, same goes for that. I know why I'm getting all the air bubbles. I've got I had to mix Floetrol into one of my paints to thin it down a bit. It was too thick. That's what happened. I'm just trying to get rid of these little um air bubbles. So I'm just going like that. One more here. Another one here. And I think, I think, I think she's done. I like it. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, I forgot these two air bubbles right here. There's a big blob there, but. That doesn't matter, so I'm gonna just get rid of that and that. Then now she's done. Now she's done. So I will bring my camera down for a close up. Okay. Look how pretty that is. Bring it down for a close up. there for a minute. And I think it's very cool, very nice. Alright, I'm going to let this one dry and show you the results at the end. 
So I came back with the dried results. It dried not too bad. It stayed the same as it was when it was wet. The only thing is it cracked in a couple of spots here, 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 and here. Actually, more than a couple of spots there as well. This side is fine, but it's this side that's cracking. Um, mainly because the paint I used was thick or I think what happened is I left too much paint on the canvas. I didn't pour enough off, so it got thick. This side doesn't seem so bad. It's not as thick, but this side is a lot thicker, so it must have stayed on this side more than that. So then that's what, this is what happens. It cracks, but it's still not too bad. I mean, I could fill them in and it would still look okay. Um, I'll bring you in for a close-up. The pearl white didn't make a whole lot of difference on this one. It's not too bad in the middle, but yeah, it still looks kind of nice. Yes, this is the one that I used the gesso cell activator on and I got cells in the middle mostly just a tiny bit of lacing there but mostly just a, a few little cells sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it worked not too bad so if you uh, enjoyed my video and if you still like to watch some more of my videos there should be some uh, links popping up on the screen right now and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Have a great day.